Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kristen Lauder from Microsoft Research. And I'm the research manager for the Cryptography and Privacy Research Group. Today, I'd like to talk to you about my team's work on private AI, machine learning on encrypted data. This is a project that we've been working on over the last five years and which has uh, led to the development and the release of Microsoft SEAL. Microsoft SEAL is uh, an encryption library which can be used to help protect privacy in AI applications. So the title of my talk, Private AI, Machine Learning on Encrypted Data, is intended to address the following problem. So the privacy problem with AI is that artificial intelligence or machine learning algorithms use um, a lot of data to make uh, useful predictions. So they input your data and then output some kind of recommendation or image classification or decision. And the privacy problem is that you have to share your data in order to get the prediction. And typical AI services today are hosted in the cloud run by some kind of a smart agent such as Cortana. So uh, the privacy uh, solution that I'm going to talk about here very briefly today is a new mathematical tool which allows you to protect the privacy and security of your data through encryption while still allowing you to operate on that data and make useful uh, predictions. And the tool is called homomorphic encryption. So I like to uh, explain homomorphic encryption by relying on Homer Simpson. So uh, Homer, homomorphic encryption, as someone tweeted in one of my uh, earlier talks. So uh, the idea of Homer Simpson here is that he's a jeweler and you have some valuable gold and you're gonna share it with uh, this jeweler in order to get some jewelry made. But since you don't trust Homer Simpson, he's looking pretty uh, untrustworthy there. Uh, you lock your gold into a box and you ask Homer to work on that gold using this uh, glove box that you see pictured here. And the glove box is locked and you keep the key. And you, you get the uh, Homer Simpson works on the gold uh, through the gloves and then returns the box to you when you're done and you unlock the box in order to get your jewelry. So that's the idea of homomorphic encryption, which is, is that it allows you to outsource computation on your valuable, sensitive, private data uh, while still keeping the key yourself, in a sense, keeping it in a locked box. So what enables this, this homomorphic encryption uh, tool, can also be described in terms of its properties. Homo homomorphic encryption basically allows you to in interchange the order of computing and encryption, and you still get the same order, so uh, the out same outcome. So homomorphic encryption um, is homomorphic is a um, is a mathematical term, and mathematicians love commutative diagrams. So I'm showing uh, the, the uh, property here with the commutative diagram. It basically means if you have some data A and B, you can go across the top arrow and you can compute on it and uh, then encrypt it. And, or you could go the other way around the diagram. You could encrypt it first and then compute on it. And the encryptions that you get should decrypt the same value. This also means that if you want to outsource computation, what you can do is you can take your private data A and B encrypt it and then send it up to the cloud and then let the cloud compute on it and send, send it back. Um, and you just decrypt the answer to get um, the, the outcome of the, of the computation. So uh, homomorphic encryption was an open problem for several decades. Um, in 2009, the first solution was proposed by uh, Gentry, um, which was considered fairly impractical and unimplementable. And um, uh, computer scientists worked very hard over the next couple of years to come up with uh, solutions that would be more practical. And in 2011, there was a surprise breakthrough uh, from researchers on my team at Microsoft Research proposing a homomorphic encryption scheme, which is now used worldwide in almost all of the uh, homomorphic encryption libraries. Uh, so we also introduced at that time a different approach to encoding data, which made homomorphic encryption much more practical, leading to uh, about four orders of magnitude speed up in the technology. And then zooming forward to 2016, uh, a project in my team, CryptoNets, was published at ICML 2016 and showed that neural net predictions were actually possible on encrypted data. Since then, there's been a lot of follow-up work from many, many teams. 
So the high level idea of homomorphic encryption, the solutions that have been proposed and implemented today is based on lattice based encryption. But it's basically a very simple idea going back to even the idea of a one time pad, which is that the encryption actually takes a message and encrypts it by blinding it by adding a secret uh, inner product uh, using a random value and taking the inner pro product with a secret vector. So um, if you actually have the secret vector, then you um, can actually decrypt by uh, subtracting the secret vector. And what you'll get is um, the message plus uh, a little bit of noise that you added. So if you hadn't added any noise uh, to the blinding process, then you could easily solve it using uh, um, linear algebra. And the noise is there to make it hard to cancel uh, the secret inner product if you don't have the secret. So that's the property of homomorphic encryption. Um, and that's a kind of a high level description of how it works today. Um, so let me talk a little bit about Microsoft SEAL. Microsoft SEAL is um, a simple encrypted arithmetic library, which we released publicly in 2015, and it's been widely adopted and used by uh, teams worldwide. Um, there's uh, been an open source release uh, in, of Microsoft SEAL in 2018, which means it can be used for commercial purposes as well. Um, it's available for download at sealcrypto.org, so you can go out there and download it right now. Um, there's, we also worked very hard in the last three years on a standardization process for homomorphic encryption because it's a new encryption technology. So we have a worldwide community, homomorphicencryption.org, which has agreed on uh, secure parameters for using homomorphic encryption in practice. And again, you can go out to homomorphicencryption.org and download the standard. So um, I'd like to kind of give you an idea of how the performance of homomorphic encryption has um, improved over time. As I said, um, in the beginning, in 2009, it was estimated that uh, the overhead from using this technology would be something like 13 orders of magnitude. Uh, so this, this is a, a log scale diagram of how the uh, performance overhead has come down over time. So I said, as I said, in about 2011, when he introduced uh, new practical techniques for encoding data to use in homomorphic encryption, um, we brought the overhead down to about 10 to the nine. That still seems uh, pretty, pretty unreasonable. So if you um, can do an operation in plain text in one second, the idea that you would have to spend you know, 10 to the nine seconds to do that same operation on encrypted data probably seem pretty unreasonable. And it's why a lot of people uh, persist in thinking that homomorphic encryption is not practical today. But uh, through a combination of um, many improvements uh, from the community and from our team, we've brought that overhead down substantially so that today there's many uh, practical tasks, including machine learning tasks that be can, can be done with about a 10 to the four overhead, meaning if something uh, co uh, costs you one second to do an unencrypted data, that it would cost you about um, 10 to the four or somewhere from 1,000 to 10,000 uh, times uh, uh, slower. However, if there's something, if it's an operation that you're doing in microseconds, that means that it's actually making the operation possible in a matter of milliseconds. And we also uh, see the possibility for in, in increased uh, speed through home, um, uh, acceleration using specialized hardware. So for example, GPUs or, or FPGAs. And you'll hear a little bit more about that in the next talk. So I'd just like to assure you that uh, you know, current performance numbers uh, show uh, quite, uh, quite optimistic uh, um, performance for, for homomorphic encryption. So uh, if you look at the first line of this table, if you use a lattice of dimension around 4,096, uh, you can see um, in yellow over here that the amortized time for doing homomorphic multiplication, multiplication of ciphertext, is about a quarter of a microsecond. So um, that should assure you that the, the performance time is not too prohibitive to use uh, in practice. So returning to the motivation for this talk, private AI, um, I'd like to call out a couple of different um, privacy problems that can be really um, 
solved with homomorphic encryption. So outsourced uh, private storage and compute is one of the main applications of homomorphic encryption, which means things like private AI prediction services are poss possible or things like hosted private training or private set intersection services and even secure collaborative computation. So there's many different industries that could use this type of application, including finance, healthcare, and manufacturing to do things like fraud detection or private medical diagnosis or predictive uh, maintenance and data analytics. So over the years, I've uh, given uh, similar talks many times and I've showed a whole range of demos that our team has developed to demonstrate the value of the homomorphic encryption technology and the SEAL library in practice. Uh, starting with going way back to 2014, showing that heart attack risk, risk was pr uh, possible on private data. Um, CryptoNets showed uh, neural net predictions of predicting handwritten um, digits from the MNIST data set. Uh, we showed genomic predictions, uh, predicting the flower t flowering time of a flower, given an encrypted version of um, its SNPs, something like 200,000 SNPs from the genome of a flower and uh, mortality risk prediction, which is something that uses intelligible models. Uh, more recently, we've even shown um, like Twitter sediment analysis on encrypted uh, tweets and uh, 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 image classification on images of uh, encrypted images of cats and dogs. Um, so today I'd like to um, highlight the fact that homomorphic encryption is a very useful technology that has been released by Microsoft Research. Um, the SEAL library is available. Um, actually, at Build in May uh, 2020, we actually announced um, the availability of uh, notebooks for a private prediction built on Microsoft SEAL. So you can actually go out and access the tutorial and the documentation for the Azure ML, um, SEAL on Azure ML to do private prediction and, and try it out yourself. So um, in conclusion, I'd like to just um, point to the next interesting talk, which was, uh, will be given uh, by Sadeg Riazzi on Project Hayax, which is accelerating homomorphic encryption with um, hardware such as FPGAs. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope you'll go out to sealcrypto.org and download SEAL and start using it um, to assure privacy in your ML applications. Thank you so much.